Disclaimer, these stories are based on real events and are meant for educational and entertainment purposes. Some elements are dramatized. Viewer discretion is advised due to intense survival scenarios. Always prioritize safety in outdoor adventures. Stay safe and enjoy these incredible survival tales. The Amazing Tale of Aaron Ralston Aaron Ralston was an experienced mountaineer and adventurer, always seeking the thrill of the great outdoors. In April 2003, while exploring Blue John Canyon in Utah, fate decided to play a cruel joke on him. As Aaron navigated through the narrow passageways, a dislodged boulder tumbled down, pinning his right hand against the canyon wall. With no way to budge the rock and his supplies dwindling, Aaron faced a grim reality. For five agonizing days, Aaron was trapped, his situation growing more desperate by the hour. He tried everything, using his climbing gear to create a pulley system, chipping away at the boulder with his multi-tool, and even attempting to rig a tourniquet. But the boulder remained unmoved, and Aaron's strength was fading. He recorded farewell messages to his family on his camcorder, a heartbreaking testament to his resolve and love for his loved ones. As his water ran out, Aaron resorted to drinking his own liquid waste to stay hydrated. Not exactly a gourmet experience. On the sixth day, delirious from pain and dehydration, Aaron made a decision that would make even the bravest soul shudder. With a dull, two-inch multi-tool, he began to free himself by cutting through his own arm. Yes, you heard that right. He decided to take matters, or rather his arm, into his own hands. Using the multi-tool's small edge, Aaron cut through the skin and muscle. When he reached the bone, he fashioned a crude tourniquet from the straps of his backpack and snapped his radius and ulna with a firm twist. It was excruciating, but there was no turning back. After hours of grueling, self-inflicted surgery, Aaron was finally free. But his ordeal was far from over. With one arm bleeding profusely, he rappelled down a 65-foot rock face and hiked seven miles, all while holding onto the hope that he might still make it out alive. Just when he thought he couldn't go any further, he encountered a family on a hike. They alerted the authorities, and Aaron was airlifted to safety. The Unyielding Spirit of Julianne Kupska In 1971, 17-year-old Julianne was flying over the Peruvian rainforest when her plane was struck by lightning. The plane broke apart midair, and Julianne plummeted to the ground, still strapped to her seat. Miraculously, she survived the fall with only minor injuries, thanks to the dense foliage cushioning her descent. For ten days, she navigated the dense jungle with nothing but a bag of candy and sheer determination. She followed a stream, knowing it would lead her to civilization. Along the way, she dealt with infected wounds, swarms of insects, and the constant threat of predators. Despite the harsh conditions, Julianne's knowledge of the rainforest, gained from her parents who were biologists, proved invaluable. At one point, Julianne stumbled upon a small hut where she found some basic supplies. Her ordeal seemed never-ending as she battled the elements and her own fears. Finally, after what must have felt like an eternity, she was discovered by a group of local loggers who took her to safety. Julianne's story is not just one of survival, but also of incredible resilience and inner strength. The Incredible Endurance of Hugh Glass In 1823, while on a fur trading expedition in what is now South Dakota, Hugh Glass encountered a massive grizzly bear. The bear, protecting her cubs, charged at Hugh, causing severe injuries, including a broken leg and deep lacerations. Despite his wounds, Hugh managed to kill the bear, but he was left in a dire condition. Hugh Glass, the man who literally wrestled with a bear and won. Imagine telling that story at a campfire. Oh, you saw a bear once? Well, let me tell you about the time I had to fight one and then crawl 200 miles to safety. His fellow trappers, convinced he wouldn't survive, decided to leave him behind, taking his supplies with them. Two men were assigned to stay with him until he passed, but they abandoned him after a few days, taking his belongings and leaving Hugh to fend for himself. But Hugh Glass wasn't ready to give up. Over the next six weeks, he crawled and limped over 200 miles to safety, driven by sheer determination and an iron will to live. He survived on wild berries, roots, and whatever small animals he could catch. His survival instincts kicked in, and he even used maggots to clean his wounds, preventing infection. The Unbelievable Resilience of Yossi Ginsberg in 1981, Yossi Ginsberg and his friends set off on an adventure into the uncharted Amazon. The dense, vibrant jungle was as beautiful as it was treacherous. When they decided to split up, Yossi found himself alone, lost and ill-prepared for the harsh environment. For three weeks, Yossi endured torrential rains, dangerous animals, and near starvation. His daily menu included raw fish, bird eggs, and wild fruits. At one point, he even fell into a bog and had to fend off a jaguar with a can of insect repellent. Yes, you heard that right. He literally sprayed his way out of a jaguar encounter. 
Yossi's journey wasn't just a test of survival skills, it was a lesson in creativity. His ability to think outside the box and use whatever he had on hand made all the difference. Despite facing infections, extreme fatigue, and the constant threat of predators, Yossi kept moving. Yossi Ginsberg, proof that even in the jungle, the right attitude and a can of bug spray can save your life. If you ever find yourself in a tough spot, just remember, a little creativity goes a long way. The Astounding Survival of Stephen Callahan In 1981, Stephen Callahan set sail from the Canary Islands on a solo journey across the Atlantic. Just a week into his voyage, his boat was struck by an unknown object and began to sink. With only moments to react, Stephen managed to inflate his life raft and gather a few supplies before his boat disappeared beneath the waves. For the next 76 days, Stephen was adrift on the vast ocean, battling dehydration, starvation, and the ever-present danger of shark attacks. His ingenuity and resourcefulness were put to the ultimate test. He used a makeshift spear to catch fish and collected rainwater to stay hydrated, even fashioning a solar still to desalinate seawater. Amidst the constant struggle, Stephen found moments of grim humor in his situation. For instance, he named his life raft Survival to keep his spirits up. The irony wasn't lost on him. Here he was, a seasoned sailor, reduced to floating on a rubber raft, trying to outsmart the ocean's perils. After losing a third of his body weight and enduring countless hardships, Stephen was finally spotted by a passing fishing vessel. His ordeal had come to an end, and his story of survival became an inspiration to many. The Miraculous Survival of Poon Lim In 1942, during World War II, Poon Lim was a steward on a British merchant ship when it was torpedoed by a German U-boat. With the ship sinking rapidly, Poon Lim managed to grab a few supplies and board a small wooden raft, setting the stage for an epic tale of survival. For the next 133 days, Poon Lim drifted in the South Atlantic, battling the relentless sun, storms, and the constant threat of sharks. He used his knowledge and resourcefulness to survive, catching fish and birds with improvised tools and collecting rainwater with canvas sheets. At one point, he even drank the blood of seagulls to stay hydrated. Despite the extreme conditions, Poon Lim maintained a positive outlook. He turned his raft into a floating survival kit, fashioning a fishing line from a piece of wire and a hook from a nail. His ingenuity knew no bounds as he managed to keep himself alive with the bare minimum. Finally, after four and a half months at sea, Poon Lim was rescued by Brazilian fishermen. He had lost a significant amount of weight and endured severe hardships, but his incredible story of survival became legendary. The Extraordinary Fortitude of Mauro Prosperi In 1994, Italian police officer Mauro Prosperi participated in the Marathon des Sables, a six-day, 156-mile ultramarathon through the Sahara Desert. During the race, a sudden sandstorm blew him off course, leaving him lost and disoriented in one of the most unforgiving environments on Earth. With limited supplies, Mauro faced extreme heat during the day and freezing temperatures at night. He rationed his food and water carefully, but soon found himself desperately trying to survive on whatever he could find. Mauro ate bats and snakes and even drank his own urine to stay hydrated. He discovered an abandoned Muslim shrine which provided brief shelter, but his situation remained dire. Moro's background in endurance sports and his relentless spirit kept him moving. He used every bit of survival knowledge he had, navigating by the sun and conserving his energy. Despite the immense physical and mental strain, Mauro pushed on, determined to find a way out of the desert. After nine days, Mauro was finally rescued by nomadic Tuareg tribesmen. Severely dehydrated and weakened, he was taken to a hospital where he began his long recovery. Morrow's incredible ordeal became a testament to human resilience and the power of sheer willpower. The Incredible Journey of Ada Blackjack In 1921, Ada Blackjack, an Inupiat woman from Alaska, joined an expedition to Wrangell Island in the Arctic. She was hired as a cook and seamstress, hoping to earn enough money to support her sick son. However, the expedition faced numerous challenges, and as supplies ran low, the situation became increasingly dire. When the other men on the expedition left in search of help, Ada was left alone with a sick companion who soon passed away. Alone on the island, Ada faced harsh Arctic conditions, including freezing temperatures, blizzards, and the constant threat of polar bears. She had minimal supplies and no training in survival skills. Despite these overwhelming odds, Ada demonstrated remarkable resourcefulness. She taught herself how to set traps, hunt for food, and care for herself in the extreme cold. Ada even managed to construct a shelter using driftwood and canvas, creating a small haven in the vast icy wilderness. After two years of isolation, Ada was finally rescued by a team sent to find the missing expedition members. She returned home a hero, 
her story becoming a powerful example of survival and determination. The Astonishing Survival of Alexander Selkirk In 1704, Alexander Selkirk, a Scottish sailor, found himself at odds with the captain of his ship over its seaworthiness. Fearing the vessel would sink, Selkirk demanded to be put ashore on the uninhabited Juan Fernandez Islands in the South Pacific, believing another ship would soon rescue him. However, the rescue didn't come and Selkirk was left to survive on his own. With only a few basic supplies, including a musket, gunpowder, a knife, a hatchet, and some navigational instruments, Selkirk faced the daunting task of staying alive. Initially, he struggled with loneliness and fear, but he soon adapted to his environment. Selkirk built two huts using the native vegetation and tamed wild goats for food and companionship. He also mastered the art of crafting tools and clothing from the materials available to him on the island. Selkirk's daily life involved hunting, foraging, and maintaining his shelters. He kept his spirits up by reading the Bible and singing psalms, which helped him maintain a sense of routine and purpose. His resourcefulness and resilience turned what could have been a harrowing ordeal into a sustainable, if solitary, existence. After four years and four months, Selkirk was finally rescued by a British privateer ship. His remarkable story of survival captivated the public and later inspired Daniel Defoe's famous novel, Robinson Crusoe.